All right, now this video is going to be about what is an IDE. So learn about um, the integrated development system. So what really is an IDE? An IDE or an integrated development environment enables programmers to consolidate the different aspects of writing a computer program. And IDEs increase uh, programmer productivity by combining common activities of uh, writing software into a single application. So editing source code, building executables, debugging, all of that. So for editing source code, writing code is an important part of programming. We start with a blank file, write a few lines of code, and the program is born. So IDEs facilitate this process with uh, features like syntax highlighting and autocomplete. So what syntax highlighting is basically visual cues. So keywords that have special meaning such as uh, class and Java are highlighted. So compare these, okay? Which one would you rather use? I would honestly use this one because this actually shows me like um, what everything is kind of doing. So we can see that the thing that's getting printed uh, is yellow. The main method is red. And then we have the, the public static and public class uh, being blue. So this definitely helps way more than this one. And then uh, autocomplete uh, is when an IDE knows your programming language and it can anticipate what you're going to type next. So we've seen statements with system dot print line. Um, in an IDE, we might see system as an autocomplete option after only typing SY. This saves keystrokes so the programmer can focus on the logic. So instead of typing that system dot out dot print line, you can see here, you can simply just type system dot and then O dot and then print like it. It will automatically um, do that for you. And then building executables. So Java is a compiled language meaning before programs run, the source code of a .java file must be transformed into an executable dot class by the compiler. Once compiled, the program can be run from the terminal. This compilation process is necessary for every program, so why not have the IDE do it for us? Now, this the integrated development environments uh, basically provide automated build processes for languages. So the act of compiling is um, abstracted away. So you can just hit run and it'll compile. Debugging. So no program of uh, programmer avoids writing bugs and programs with errors. When a program does not run correctly, the IDE provides debugging tools that allow programs to examine different variables and inspect their code in a deliberate way. So IDEs also provide hints while coding to prevent errors before compilation. So for example, if you have this method, you the IDE already noticed you don't have a semicolon, so you can just put a semicolon there to avoid an error. And then uh, the biggest benefit to using an IDE is it allows you to code and run Java programs on your own computer. Um, now, Code Academy recommends IntelliJ IDEA, IDEA um, which you can download on um, every platform. And basically, the IDE I recommend is definitely IntelliJ as well. Um, if you're new, or if you don't want to really invest that much uh, time and effort into installing an IDE, there's also Replit and then also um, Online GDB as well, which both of them you can uh, type up um, simple code and run it and you should be fine. And that is going to end our lesson for IDEs and the next video we'll be learning about uh, 
variables. So I'll see you guys then.